Hello everyone, back with an IRS tax refund update. As we monitor the latest developments with those processed tax returns and more importantly tax refunds, we have now reached a key date that is important in the processing and transmitting of many refunds for this tax season. So we're going to take a look at that, as well as potential refund delay wait times connected with that third stimulus payment and that IRS direct deposit refund schedule. Now the top story of the week impacting refunds for millions of taxpayers this tax season is that we have finally passed that February 15th date, which now allows the IRS to start processing and transmitting refunds for those taxpayers who claimed the earned income tax credit and or child tax credits. What many impacted taxpayers are still reporting as of this recording is they're still seeing this message when checking their refund statuses or they are reporting no updates to their tax transcripts. So this does not mean there's a problem with your tax return and refund, and actually this is to be expected and many of you may not see an update until the Saturday following this recording. So what is happening now is the IRS has given a green light for those tax refunds to be issued. Those tax returns with no issues are being updated in batches to be sent to the IRS master file tape so those refunds can in turn be released. Now the master file is the IRS system which stores and processes tax transmissions and it should be noted portions of the system are actually still using computer programming language from the 1960s. Once those deposits are released to the Federal Reserve, they will start going out to taxpayers' bank accounts. Now, while reports are indicating taxpayers can expect to receive these refunds from returns claiming the earned income tax credit and or child tax credits closer to the beginning of March, it is possible we can see some of those refunds start hitting bank accounts as early as the 19th. But do keep in mind there are millions of refunds that are going to be processed during this time, and the system is unable to do this all at once. With several million refunds having already gone out to taxpayers so far this season, we are beginning to see potential issues lie ahead this tax season, including the involvement of the third stimulus payment. The IRS is reporting issues with missing information are those that have been suspected of fraud associated with the third stimulus payment may take up to three to four months to resolve. Now here again is the 2022 IRS tax refund schedule. Now these are tentative release dates as some taxpayers already received their refunds ahead of schedule. While those who filed taxes before February 15th and were claiming the earned income tax credit and or child tax credit had to wait on the PATH Act before seeing their refunds processed. Let us know in the comment section below what problem you're currently experiencing, if any, as well as if you've already filed your 2021 tax returns. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments. So make sure to click on the subscribe button below for future updates on this channel. And thanks for watching.